yeah students so let us continue uh, <coughs> so 100x because this x was in the units place earlier but now it will be in the hundreds place middle digit is same 10 into x plus y plus 1 and the y which was in the hundreds place now it will turn it will come into the units place so this will be the new number obtained by reversing the digits this new number is equal to 198 more than the old number original number this is the original number i have kept okay now from this we will make the equation what will be the equation 100x plus 10x plus 10y plus 10 plus 1y is equal to 11x plus 110y plus 198 plus 10 is 208. Now we will arrange the term and form the equation 100x plus 10x is 110x, 110x and this x on the right side we bring it to the left side minus 11x. Then uh, 10y will remain plus 10y, 10y plus 1y sorry. So this is 11y, 11y and this will come to the left hand side from right hand side of the equal to sign. So this will become minus 110y. Now let's see the number. Which are the number? This number 10 will go to this side. Already there is 208 here. So 208 minus 10 is 198. Okay, so finally the equation will be 110x minus 11x is 99x. Okay, 11x minus 110y is minus 99y okay which is equal to 198 and dividing each term by 99 we will get dividing dividing each term by 99 we get 99 we get okay so it will be x minus y is equal to 2 this is equation second the first equation we got here 23x minus 76y equal to minus 7. This is the second equation x minus y is equal to 2. We will have to solve this equation, get the values of x and y now. Let us solve. So students we have equation first 23x minus 76y is equal to minus 7 and equation second x minus y equal to 2. Now from equation 2, from equation second I will use the substitution method okay we get x equal to what we'll get x is equal to if i bring minus y to that side i'll get 2 plus y x is equal to 2 plus y okay and this value of x i will substitute in equation first so what you would write substituting therefore substituting the value of x the value of x in equation so, uh, equations first, equation number first, okay, yeah, first equation is this, I will put value of x, that is 2 plus y here, so what I will get, we get, please the student develops such habit of writing every step systematically, 23 and uh, 23x, so value of x I will write as 2 plus y, so 23 bracket 2 plus y minus 76y is equal to minus 7, solve, 23 to the 46 plus 23 into y is 23y minus 76y is equal to minus 7. Now 46 I will bring here minus 7 minus 46. Okay and 23y minus 76y will give you 23y minus 76y. Okay so actually from small number we are subtracting big number. So it will be 3 and 5 53y. 53y is equal to minus 7 minus 46. So 53y will be equal to 1 minute. Yeah, yeah. We did a mistake. Uh, minus 53y is equal to uh, minus 7 minus 46. So minus 53y is equal to minus 53. So finally y will be equal to minus 53 upon minus 53, which will give us value of y to be equal to 1, which is the hundreds place digit actually if you recall the beginning of the like sum now we will put the value of y that is 1 in equation number second so what we write is i will remove this where we have to put y equal to 1 x minus y equal to 2 is the equation okay so substituting substituting the value of the value of 
y in equation second okay we get second equation was x minus y equal to 2 so i will get <coughs> uh i have to put value of y 1 so it was x okay minus y is 1 equal to 2 i think so the second equation was yeah so x minus y equal to 2 was the equation so y is 1 i kept here x minus 1 equal to 2 so x will be equal to 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3 this is the units place digit as we had started in the beginning of the sum and this is the hundreds place digit and therefore okay the middle digit will be middle digit will be we know that it is x plus y plus 1 so that is equal to x is 3 plus y is 1 plus 1 that is equal to 5 therefore original number original number okay will be equal to first we know how we write a number first we write hundreds place then the tens place then the units place so hundreds place is 1 the tens place will be this middle digit 5 and the units place digit is 3. 153 is the original number. Understand? So this is how like you know we have to solve. This y is the hundreds place. Okay. HP means hundreds place. This 3 is units place. UP means units place. And this is the tens place. So to constitute the number we first write hundreds place then the tens place and then the units place i wrote in that order one five three this gives us the original number so the original number as you are seeing in your textbook is 153 yeah it is 153 you can check out like you know by the condition if you reverse this these digits it becomes 351 so this is that is a new number which will be 198 more than the original number 153 this is some number 5 which is a solved example given in your textbook okay other two sums are there and even in the beginning of uh, like solved example there is an activity sum you should solve all such sums okay we completed like you know the solved examples which are given before the problem set one uh, one minute there is a practice set i think so yeah practice set 1.5 let you check out if it is there or not uh, practice set 1.5 is there yeah it is on page number 26 you please solve the sums given in practice set 1.5 students are requested to solve all these sums in 1.5 practice set 1.5 totally six sums are given out of which the six sum is a star marked sum so it will be a challenging sum please try, try to solve them even after solving uh, like you know practice set 1.5 you should always try to solve the problem set given at the end of the chapter problem set also contains some challenging sums okay yeah there's a there's a lot of practice for you if you solve this problem set one please 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 i request you all to solve these sums okay use your mind do not stop do not like get scared like you know do not stop anywhere think for the newer and newer way if suppose you stop somewhere Okay, with this we end today's lecture. Uh, this is the lecture fifth of uh, like uh, algebra, mass one. We will uh, now like you know in the next lecture solve the extra sums of this chapter. Extra sums means the sums we have not solved in the practice set 1.1 to 1.5. Okay, till then have a nice time. Good day, goodbye, take care.